Hi. So at the moment I am on Vancouver Island and I'm staying with two absolutely beautiful and gorgeous friends of mine who invited me over here to run a couple of workshops, conscious kitchen workshop and plant-based food workshop. So we can just we can just show people how easy it is to make really healthy plant-based food and we're also going to do things like connect with the essence of herbs and spices so we're going to do a little bit of meditation in there and we're going to talk about being really mindful as you're making the food making it with love and you know because we know that when we do that it tastes so much better and we're going to do really delicious things like we're going to make chocolate together we're going to make energy balls we're going to make spring rolls we're going to make mandalas with all the pâtés and dips and different vibrant salads that we make so I can't wait for that and what I'm doing at the moment in the yurt and I'm actually staying in the yurt at the moment and this is a space that my friends use for workshops they use for Airbnb it's an absolutely gorgeous space and I'm actually just in there at the moment just playing and dancing and tweaking some recipes and I've just about made a new batch of beetroot bhajis or beetroot pakora and we're going to actually do that in the workshop we're going to have a gorgeous curry now and we're going to do all sorts of different colorful pakoras and bhajis we're going to do that together as a group and it's going to be so much fun and i actually thought why not post my beetroot bhaji recipe on my blog so i just want to show you exactly how i make it so let's go take a little peek so I've grated about one tennis ball size beetroot in there. Finely grated one heaped teaspoon worth of ginger. About half a teaspoon of sea salt, a twist of black pepper, and then half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. And two heaped teaspoons of onion powder. Give it a bit of pizzazz. And a very heaped teaspoon of curry powder, or you can use garam masala, that's what I have available. And then I'm gonna weigh in about 50 grams of chickpea flour. It's also called garbanzo bean flour or besan flour. Then I'm just gonna line a baking tray with some baking paper, some parchment paper. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get my hands in there and I'm gonna mix it all together. And you'll find that the moisture from the beetroot and the moisture from the ginger should be more than enough moisture for what you need. If you find it particularly dry, you can add like a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of water and that will help it along the way. So you're looking for this kind of squidgy consistency. It's actually really quite fun and therapeutic to do this. You just want to mix it until everything is evenly combined together and you might just want to do it a bit longer because it's actually like, loads of fun. <laughs> yeah, so what you want to do is you want to just get little shapes, get little dollops of the stuff and then just pop it on the tray, give it a little press down. You can do them small, tiny, you can do them a little bit bigger. But I reckon from this sort of mixture if you do them like sort of falafel size, you're gonna get about six, maybe five or six nice little dollops there. You know, and if you want, give them a little press down. But you know, these nice little bits hanging off the edge are gonna get nice and crispy. So you wanna turn the oven on to about 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or about 250 degrees Celsius. You want it really hot because we're trying to mimic the action that it would get from deep frying except we're gonna bake them. And then you wanna pop them in a preheated oven at a really hot temperature. So I am incredibly blessed to have this space. So I'm basically I've got all my notes going on here so I can prepare for what I'm going to do on the different workshops that I'm going to run. And then I've got this 
gorgeous little pop-up kitchen and I'm actually not going to run the workshop in this space. This space is so I can prepare myself or so I can gather everything together and I can actually start dancing and playing with all these things that I've been getting in and I'm actually going to work up at the big house. What we'll probably do is we'll set this space up here so that we can do some meditation with the herbs and the spices to really feel their energy. So let's go see how our beetroot bargees are doing. So they've been cooking for about 20 minutes and what I'm looking for is that nice crispy on the outside and a little bit soft on the inside too. So we're trying to mimic the action instead of deep frying them, is, is, which is how you'd typically find bargees or pakoras. We're actually baking them at a really hot temperature in the oven just to get nice crispy on the outside and just to get all the ingredients to cook nice and thoroughly before you eat them. So it looks like everything's cooked to perfection there. I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of chutney. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I really like it. Mmm. Oh my goodness, it's got mmm. It's got a gorgeous dance of the flavours in there, and I love that beetroot colour. So I hope that you enjoy this. I hope this inspires you to make baked bhajis or baked pakora please do come and check out my website for the written recipe, kindearth.net. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.